Hi! So today we are going to talk about the explorer archetype. The first video was about the innocent, now it's time to talk about the explorer. So when we think about uh, exploring, we think about being uh, an adventurer or a pioneer or someone that wants to discover new things, new places, new formulas, you know, new ways of doing things. And the uh, explorer is all about uh, discovering who you are as a person, okay? It's all about freedom, it's all about authenticity and finding your place in the world. So you, uh, the, I think the, be the best way to think uh, about the explorer is uh, going to a journey. So this journey can be uh, out in the world, uh, exploring and discovering new uh, lands but it can also be inside your head because you want to know uh, who you are as a person what you like what you don't like so the explorer is all about authenticity in this sense that they are looking for their true identity okay so uh, how can we work the archetype in terms of branding so if we think for example about starbucks it's a great uh, a great example of the archetype uh, because starbucks when it started out brought a new way of tasting coffee and you can taste um, coffees from all around the world so there's very this kind of exotic feeling and even the logo with the mermaid it's telling us well that's here's something that's not very familiar right okay so um brands related to the outdoors like timberland and patagonia are good examples of the uh, explorer as well so if you want to position yourself uh, with this archetype think about authenticity above all okay you you don't want your consumer to feel that uh, they are uh, another sheep in the flock they want to be treated as one and they want this feeling of discovering new things so your brand can also be positioning about you know that this best kept secret so it's a, a uh, an archetype there i think is very linked to the hipsters because they don't want anyone to know what kind of brand they are wearing they are not into logos everything is kind of laid down you know things that are far from the mainstream so this can be a challenge for uh, entrepreneurs as well because of course when you are building a brand you want to be popular you want people to know who you are but at the same time if you are talking to explorer they don't want to be somehow in a community of many people uh, knowing uh, the, uh, everything about the brand they are purchasing so the real challenge here is to keep this feeling of kind of uh, under the radar brand at the same time you're going to grow your company okay but uh, think about the urge for freedom the urge for uh, individuality um, and they need to be authentic in a world that it's basically telling everyone to behave to behave this or that way to uh, like this this and that brand so it's really about standing out in the cr in the crowd and say well i'm different and i'm for the few if you want to be to feel that you are one of a kind then come here and i i will show you uh how okay but this uh one last thing this feeling of being one of a kind it's not the feeling of a luxury brand that feels that make you feel like special and important it's uh, it's the feeling of i respect you as an individual okay so it's really about crafting a message of individuality 
and not just like I sp I'm, I'm special because I'm rich and because I can buy a luxury uh, product. It's more like you are special because you know who you are, you know what you like. Okay, so this is the Explorer in a nutshell. If you have any questions, just drop me a line here in the comments. Okay, see you soon.